Welcome to History with Gizmo Slip. Just, just kidding. Uh, let's, but seriously, let's talk about the guillotine for a second. The idea of a guillotine sounds quite barbaric to us today, but back when it was invented in 1789, it was actually designed to be a humane way to end lives compared to other methods used at the time. Which, yeah, we're not going to get into because they were quite brutal and drawn out and painful and really crazy. The guillotine was viewed as an enlightened method of executing capital punishment capable of ending the victim's life in one quick stroke. What's up, welcome to episode of Gizmo Slip. Today we're gonna find out how many iPhones this 60 to slash 120 pound guillotine can cut through, and that refers to its cutting force. I'm here with Zombie Go Boom, Chuck and Charles, and we've got Aaron from Destruction Channel. Links down below to all those peoples. Let's go ahead and find out. Just how many iPhones this thing can cut through. It's gonna be freaking epic. Let's get started. The goal here is to put an iPhone in this guillotine. And one of the challenges we're running into is this guillotine has a big gap down here. I think the idea is we're gonna use some two by fours here and set up kind of like a, a, a smaller, narrower gap. We're gonna try it with just one iPhone to start with and then two, three, four, five and see what happens. This is like something you guys homemade, right? Yes, sir. Um, well. How did you At guys first, come up with this idea? Oh, well, we were just kind of trying to think of what would be fun to destroy and how, and we thought guillotine just mm. randomly came to us. I don't know why. Nice. But uh, this is just the first of many. We've got this base that they made with two giant four by fours that go all the way up there, 12 feet, and then we have a pulley system to pull the blade up, and they can actually put weights up here to add increased, uh, essentially cutting force as it falls down. So. Freaking awesome. Let's get this thing set up and see how it does with the first phone. So I'm going to be cutting this bottom rope down here. That's gonna release the rope, it's gonna shoot up, and at the same time the guillotine's gonna come shwoom down, shwoom, wow, <laughs> shwoom. Anyway, it's gonna be awesome. Here comes the chop in three, two, one. Woo, woo. Let's take a look at the phantom clip of this iPhone getting smashed and here comes the blade. Boom! Oh, <laughs> kind of crushed it. That is so cool. Wow, all the glass shards coming off of that. It was just nuts. Oh! Dang! The iPhone hit the camera after it came through and it bent the iPhone hardcore. Basically, it sliced halfway through the battery and just about everything else but it did not cut it, believe it or not. Let's go ahead and lift the blade up again and try super bracing these, maybe with tape or whatever, the best thing we can to brace them, so. I think the gap is too wide, honestly, for it, because it just, it can bend and get it in there. Yeah, and that's kind of what it did, it just bent and crushed down. So let's add more weights, let's move those two by fours a little bit closer together and see if we can get a clean cut. Maybe tape it down. Tape it down more firmly. Yeah. Cool, let's try round two. All right, so we've added weight to the top. 27 extra pounds. We've taped it down. We've moved the gap closer. Let's see if we can get a cut on this iPhone. Here we go. In three, two, one. Wow, Darren, your camera is covered in glass dust again. All right, let's take a look at this phantom shot. It's gonna be nuts. Shunk. Oh. It just like it oozes like the phone's guts. It's just no. shooting yeah. up into the air. I think the, the, the fact that it was so close together, like eventually a like, wedge pinched it apart. Like it didn't actually slice it, it more like put pinched it in there. Split, yeah. And then like just so enough force was in there. Everything was so close together that eventually just finally cut all the way through. Yeah, check this out. We've got a big chunk of the iPhone cut in half there. Look, you got a big chunk of the iPhone stuck in there, but it is actually cut in half this time. Now this is the previous iPhone right here. And this is the, here's the metal sheet that we had before and it's literally sliced in half. I think we have a complete slice in half. Check it out, it actually did cut through the entire thing. You can see the lithium ion battery even got cut in half. If you stack a bunch of them, my guess is at least the first few are actually gonna cut. But if Maybe. you stack a bunch of yeah. them, you can't tape them down as easy, so will it still work the same? I don't know. 
Well, let's find out. Let's go ahead and get two funds on there. On this one, we're gonna have Aaron slice this sucker up. What happened? We'll have to take a little slow motion to see what happened on that one. Here it comes. Okay, it looks really cool. Boom! Ooh! Ho, 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 ho. Wow. Just sandwiched them together and smushed them down hardcore. You can actually tell it did cut the top one right here in half. Here is the combo. And the top one was sliced part of the way through, but it did not actually get through the main metal frame of the top one. And the bottom one was sufficiently scrunched, but again, did not cut through. Now, you can tell right here, there's been some nicks on it from the first two cuts. And if that blade was a bit sharper, it probably would go through. So we actually managed to break this board when the guillotine hit this piece of wood. And that obviously is not any good. So we're gonna have to repair this, replace this piece of wood. And we're also gonna come back and sharpen this blade and come back tomorrow and try this again. Okay, so we've got three phones. They're all taped together. The good thing about this is that we're gonna put them uh, vertically now. So hopefully they slice better going straight up and down than they oh. did like this. I thought, oh, okay. That actually sounds like a good idea. Because, uh, I mean, before, when it was like this, they were kind of scrunching in and bending in. Yeah. This way, they're not gonna, they're not gonna be able to bend in. Hopefully they just straight up slice a lot better, so. Okay, that's three iPhones. Let's do this. We did sharpen the blade a lot. Got the nicks out of it. Should be a lot better now. Let's see what happens. In three, two, one. Oh, it stopped the blade. Oh. You can tell it started to cut the top layer and it was just too much counter force trying to get through all three at once. So this blade is actually <laughs> nicked like crazy. We're gonna go ahead and touch up the blade again and then go for a cut on the same I guess that's spot. What you're talking about. It's gonna be awesome. We're gonna go for a cut number two in three, two, one. Oh, we uh, didn't choppy choppy. Trying again in three, two, one. It stopped it again. Now this time it looks like it may have partially landed on the wood, perhaps. So, not sure. Let's go ahead and lift it up and take a closer look to how exactly it impacted. Wow, oh yeah, check this out. Right here, one of the baseboards got hit and it fell down. So we have the two two by fours that are at different heights now. And that is just, it's not cutting. That's crazy, that is not what we expected. Check this out, there's, there's one right there. Oh, holy cow. All right, so let's, uh, let's grab the next one. It just kind of bent through. It didn't That's the frame for the second one. I'll almost guarantee you different, uh, significantly different. Well, there's a lot of layers. And there's the last bits right there. Wow. A lot of duct tape. <laughs> awesome. Well, I think I think we've got the answer that basically it can cleanly go through one, kind of go through two, but it'll be stopped by three. Custom iPhones by Gizmo Slip, functionality not guaranteed. Big shout out to Zombie Go Boom for inviting me out and to the guillotine guys over at destructionchannel.com for bringing out the guillotine. Freaking 
Awesome. Now the zombie go boom guys are going to test the guillotine out on a zombie head. Now this is an anatomically correct zombie head that should represent what it would be like to actually kill a zombie. So find out over on their channel if a guillotine can kill that zombie. Go check out Aaron's channel if you want to check out more guillotine action. Link in the description down below and link in the description for the zombie go boom guys. That's it for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Brandon Baldwin out. Woo.